Hello, hello, hello. Cool. Godly here. How are we all doing? Today I'm going to do a uh, little video. Might be a long video. Not sure yet. Um, over at Twin Peaks. Going to be hunting a mob I spent a, a fair amount of time on. Not the most time, but a, a good amount. Some Argonauts are on the menu for today. Let's get the tracker going. So I'm actually heading west of Twin Peaks. I could have headed north. Um, in fact, if I were to head north, I would have started at some of the easier ones. Which I could still go north from here to get some of the easier ones. But why go easy? That sounds boring. So we're gonna we're gonna go right for the the good ones. It's a little bit of a walk. Could have hopped in a car, but I want a chance to talk to you guys. So nothing in the uh, nothing in the in, bleh, inventory. Now I I didn't specify how much I was gonna be hunting with, but I'm starting with let's see 203 PDs worth of ammo. So I figured I'd hunt until I either got talk tired of talking or until this got, you know, significantly boring for you guys. I'm not the only one over here hunting. Nice. Now one thing that I didn't do and should have done was grab a loot bill. So I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Now, I like this area for the Argonauts because there's a uh, only a slight range of levels over here. I think we go from like 6 to 10, kind of thing. Let's have them do it pretty hard. And if I recall, I think most of their damage is cut. So if you're going armor specific, you're going to need some, uh, some cut, you know, protection. Right now I'm kind of with the plates, you know, set up for impact. Which I think these guys also do impact. I think it's mostly, mostly cut. Now I, uh, you know, I'm only on level nine with these guys. I actually stopped hunting them for a little while because that's when I started hunting uh, the curbs. Because curbs drop our, uh animal muscle oil, which is something that I. I'm always in the need for. It seems like the the more plentiful common mobs all drop eye oil, which is a little discouraging. Which don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna use the animal eye oil. In fact I need it with the muscle oil. So I use that to do uh, simple conductors. I think if I do it the other way around where I need more eye oil, I know that's the springs. But right now, I don't have uh, much need for the springs. The animal muscle oil is what I need. Because uh, the conductors, I... They sell very well. I want to sell them directly. I also use them in some of the weapons that I make. I haven't made weapons in a little while, because some of the parts... It's harder to make them. And I'm not... Actually, if you look right now, I'm pretty, pretty broke. So it's a little harder to buy some of that stuff. I'm not entirely worried about, you know, having a ton of money on here right now. Mostly uh, working on getting my just skills up, making it so I can do a lot more things. So there's mobs I really can't hunt. Um, there's an event going on. I'm not sure if it'll be over by the time you guys see this, but there's a robot event going on. That uh, I, you know... Some of those robots are much higher than I'm comfortable going after. Plus my armor is not really conducive to it. But I'm starting to realize, you know, the, the schedule of events with some of these, you know, events that Mindark is doing. I've got to see if I can, you know, get a calendar going of all the, the different events so I can plan a little bit more. 
figure out what the next event is so I can prepare armor, weapons, so forth. So I can really participate. Although this, I think, is a lot different than the Merry Mayhem one. I don't think there's... I think they just... There's more robots around. I did like the, the events and the, the annihilation events for Merry Mayhem. That's probably the events I'd be spending a lot more time... time focusing on. But these guys, they are very, very aggressive, and they can hit very hard. Um, I used to hunt these guys using pixie armor. And, you know, the guardians I'd have to be a little more careful with, you know, a lot more of the backing up, you know, avoiding damage as much as possible. Because they still did hit pretty decent. Um, now with, you know, ghost armor on, it's... I can take a lot more. I'm killing them a lot quicker too. So, but you can, you know, work with these guys with Pixie. So, depending on where you're at with armor, money, and whatnot, you can can still still finish these guys off. We'll keep that open. Don't know why I closed it. I don't care if you guys see that. I'm uh, waiting for a trip up to the mothership. Oh god. I'm gonna get my uh, ass handed to me here in a second. Oh. And I'm going after one that can't even kill me. Let me see if I can kill it before it becomes unreachable. And apparently not. Alright. So let's... Uh, Let's get through this. I'm glad my evades up, because uh, they they're probably wreaking havoc on my armor right now. There's a lot of misses deflected in there, so my armor is doing a little bit of the work there. And some of you know, you're unaware while watching this video. If you ever see the deflect, anytime you see orange, in fact, it means it's actually hitting, hitting you. If you're seeing deflect, that means your armor has absorbed all of the damage. Anytime you see the yellow, that's when it's either miss, you know, dodge, evade. So it's not decaying armor at all. Yeah, lots of evade. Love seeing the evade. Diluted sweat there. I know diluted sweat's probably for like mind essence or something. I I typically use that as TT food. Doesn't seem to. Wow, these guys are spawning quick. I used to have them spawning so quick. Oh, they finally jumped out of the rock. I think I'm going to back away from these guys a little bit. Because uh, they are squatting way too rapidly. Granted, they're not really doing much to me as far as damage-wise. That still could be a... Uh, I can get a little uncomfortable if I don't watch. See how much they, uh, how often they can still hit, and how aggressive they are. The aggressiveness can be a, the, a fun part of like about these guys. You've seen me do the videos for the Merps and whatnot. How aggressive they are! I, I love the, that aggressiveness, especially in a tight density. I could probably be grinding on these guys with a pistol. To uh. My pistol skills, I think, still on an OR or LP 15, but it's 20 in stock because 
I'm close. I know you guys have probably seen the video. If you have it, I'll put it in here. Um, so you guys can see it you know, later, but a video I did with uh, where I usually Hall of Fame. And I should have probably filmed this one before that, because this is more uh, as far as progressively harder. That was the theme I was originally going with, was trying to get these a little more, a little more difficult, you know, farther and farther along. We're about 300 ammo, so probably about 30 PEDs. We'll get a, a total go at it in a moment. Let's see where I'm at. Actually, while I'm, while I'm killing these guys, let's see where I'm at with uh, ammo. 167, started at 203, so we're about, what, 36? So that's, uh. You know what, let's finish this at, say, 40 PEDs. At that point, my gun's damn near empty. Not going into space just yet. Appreciate the invite. Alright. I'm keep an eye on this. Try to get as close to, uh, to 40 PEDs as possible. Fortunately, I didn't get any globals over here. I have globaled over on these guys before. It wasn't something that happened, you know, every other mob. Like some of the some of the mobs I've got after, I've got it frequently. Curbs, especially over at Fort Lahar. It almost seemed like I was getting a global every like 20, 30 of them at some points. Some days, of course, you know, slower than others. Alright, so this will be the last one because it'll put me just over 41 PEDs. And I'll do some mental math if we're close. I'll run back to a TT for you. So 21 in shrapnel. Almost 10 in animal oil. So that puts us at about 31. Negligible. Say 32. 32 and a half, uh, 33, 34, 35, good markup on the pink hand, so, so it's probably about 5, 6, you know, loss, which isn't terrible considering, you know, in reality, I really did not kill a lot of them, I think I only went up, what, 7, 8% on the uh, challenge, but this is a fun area, you know, to work on, especially if you need eye oil and you're not ready to go go after those big dicabas or anything like that. Well, let's go back and just uh, just check. Oh, a little jump there. I don't know if anyone's ever done any, like, racing on here. Well, there's no way to really modify the vehicles for speed. But it'd be interesting to have, like, a little racetrack. Like, an impromptu race. Alright, so let's take a look. Now I'm thinking, an exact total, I'm gonna say, three under four, 37 PDs. 36 and a quarter. So that's about, right? So it's still a little bit of a loss. Not a terrible loss. It's about, uh, not what I expected for 40 PDs over there. Again, I've, I've globaled over there. I might have made profit a few times. Not something I want to say, you know, often enough. I want to turn that into a video either. Um, 
But it's it's a fun little area, especially if you need Argonauts, have a challenge for Argonauts. And progressive, you know, right after curves, that is definitely a, a good choice to work on. So I hope you enjoyed the little bit of information. If you did, please like and subscribe to the video. Comment what you want to see for, you know, the next video. Maybe you get a different uh if you have a mob in mind that you want me to to show you to find um, recommended hunting areas. I am all for suggestions, so if you want to drop that comment, let me know. Until then, godly up.